I'm not even the head coach. Congratulations. Man, I should go my ass home. I said I should. I ain't. It ain't happening. This is the same people said, we gonna help you build what you want. How I'm gonna believe you, man? We gonna ride through the fence that these, they ain't fixed the fence. We about to ride through this fence. And y'all talking about bad at my uncle prime. Y'all mad at Dion, mad at prime. This shit is every HBC. This is what they practice on. It's a straightaway. This is in the mirror field. You can't practice on this. These kids got this to work with. Trash. Ed Reed, man, who was expected to be the next head coach of, of Bethune Cookman. Uh, they let him go before he even. Oh, I, I, could you really say that they let him go if he wasn't even there on the contract? He didn't even sign on the other line, so it's like he got fired before he even got got hired. Basically, what do you think he said? He let he he would let got let go because they couldn't meet all the demands in this contract. Um, not sure what those demands were. I don't think it, I don't think it was, it was money. Money well, money for him, I, I would say. He aired them out, bro. HBCUs, they are um, they just got to do better. I mean, if the guys are gonna come there, they know they're not gonna get paid as much, which is fine. But and uh, clean the man's office. You know, that's the bare minimum. I've heard a lot of, um, I'm calling them apologists go, well, there was just a hurricane down there. And it was like, yeah, okay, I get his dirt around. They're like, we still cleaning up from Hurricane Ida or whatever it was two years ago. Like, okay, I get it, but that don't stop you from cleaning that man's office. Nice facts. It, you know. I don't, stop I, you. I, I don't stop you from hoarding trash in just random buildings around campus. Yeah, come on, man. It, Gotta be better than I, that, I'm man. I'm sure there ain't no... I'm sure there's PWIs that were affected by some of those, uh, you know, hurricanes, natural hurricanes. disasters, and, I, and and it might be trash all around the campus, but I bet you it ain't no trash on the campus or none of facilities, none right? Of, none of them coaches' locker rooms or coaches' offices, none of the dorm rooms, none of the. Mm -hmm. uh, Basically, I mean, I, I said to you before, like there's pro protests going down, there, not just for Ed Reed, but for what's been going on around the campus. So apparently, this has been going on for a while. But Ed is just a big enough voice. To Happy he stood up for, for himself and stood up for his what's going to be team and students, you know. But this is why, this is why athletes, high school athletes, like I said, they, it's, it's hard to go to HBCUs. I know everybody wants to say, let's go to HBCUs. If we go down there, it'll be changed. But then you got stuff like this. Like I said, Prime was a, Prime was a rare example until, like, until you see... We discussed this months ago. Y'all go back check that old episode out until so y'all really see the details of what Prime was really doing down there. Yeah, why he ultimately had to leave. You so. could say you you want kids if we all just band together and send, and support our kids HBCUs. Nah, it's, it's it's more than that. The school has to want to support support the movement too. The college experience matters too. If I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at this HBCU facility, it's probably gonna look like shit compared to. Uh, to Ohio State, it's not even. Let's not even say Ohio State. Let's say like a, like a, yeah, even like I've a. Seen, I've seen BG facility. Yeah, this is nice. I say go, go mid major. I've seen even BG Ohio facility. University probably nicer. Yeah, than OU, they, Miami, they got nice facility. You see, let's say you see. I know the museum mid major, but they got nice facilities. Yeah, if you a top five prospect coming out of high school, you got you got to want to be a first round pick. You know, you probably asp uh, aspiring to be. You go here and fuck your knee up, playing on these shitty ass fields they got for practicing. Then what? I will I will say that he probably shouldn't have blasted the school out like that. He, which is for the apology. You know, things are, tr you know, it's these things I teach my, even teach the kids, my kids sometimes. Like, all right, sometimes you don't need the things are true. Two things can be true. Yeah, yeah. The, the things are true. What he said is true, but it wasn't the right time. And the wasn't the right way that he said it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Delivery is everything. Oh no! I mean, could have been the right because, like, like two weeks without a contract. But like, delivery, delivery is everything, bro. What delivery you said was, how you was said not. It. Yeah, the delivery wasn't right. You can't blast. This. You You're don't not in the NFL locker room anymore, bro. You're not talking to your head coach. But I'm sure the NFL player too.